Welcome back everybody to this country playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. We did an ascent of the tower and I think we've got Barnabas coming. So let's grab this first. Yeah. Healing items, thank you. Probably more here, I'd guess, as well. Oh, magic ash, because that's what we need at this point in the game. That is what we do want. He's here. I can feel him. Excellent. I'm going to drop a save just to be on the safe side. I haven't saved in a while, to be honest. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcher. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. My 
my worth proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Okay, semi primed himself then. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know the truth. I can freeze him. He's actually frozen. Show me more. Blessed with the might of a god, yet still out like a man. notion of hope when there is none. Fuck. We're going for an icon 
jewel now. Fucking size of it, man. Desperate, are we? Too far away.
defeated. You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your god believes. Take his head, Clive. took you for.
must I show you? Ow.
and staggered. Staggered. Think you've got him. He's dead here. Oh, there goes his head. Oh. Nearly his head. Well, the day is at an end. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Oh! It's going to change into Odin, surely. Now, boss battle. Dark shard. The power of the icon Odin made manifest. The shard is a crystal of crystal is as black as moonless night. It can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. For a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. 
There is no world but the one we live in. And that world... That world is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Yourself. Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold. How your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again.
Vessel complete. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye. But I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life, and I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. No, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it.
Farewell, Terence. I do like Dion's story. <sighs> Estla. Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You save. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Ah. Oh, he didn't consider it killing. Or a mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why, uh, 
us. What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? This music, man. We know that the Mother Crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Or without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. <sighs> wow, that was a step piece and a half, wasn't it? Brotherhood. Power of Darkness. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Odin's essence. Attuning with Odin not only changes the element of his magic, but also several new iconic abilities such as gun gear, a fanatic flurry of attacks that damage all enemies within range. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, ability details can be found in the abilities tab. Odin's feet, the arms of darkness. Can be used to temporarily transfer Clive's weapon into Odin's legendary blade. Landing attack slowly recharges the blade, readying it for Zansetsuken. Which is executed by holding down square. Okay, Zanset Zukan's potency is determined by the blade's charge at the time of execution. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. <laughs> Might as well grab this. Two high potions. Um, okay. Odin channeled. So let's take a look at Odin, shall we? Replace Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade. Landing abilities with the arm fills the gauge. Hold its to execute. So you do the arm of darkness, and this flame sword becomes the arm of darkness. Fold it, hold it up, and then instead of doing your charged sort of magic weapon you do sans it so you can okay I summon the legendary spear gun gear and execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes each hit landed fills the sans it so you can stage 
Heaven's Cloud. Search forward and strike an enemy. It can be executed multiple times in succession if the previous hit lands. Each go. Okay. Rift Slip. Use to recover immediately from any ability or action. Dancing Steel. Summon a second blade and unleash a flurry of attacks. Each hit landed. Sniffly feels. So that's decent. So, my gut instinct says to replace Bahamut. I'm not feeling Mega Flare. It's too slow. And I could get rid of Rhyme. Maybe for Impulse here. So, I like this for the pull down. But then, do I need Gouge? To be honest, let's go Odin here. We'll go that for now. Don't care about that. I do want Dancing Steel. Where's Rhyme? Let's reset Rhyme. Now we can get Dancing Steel here. Now, if I had the points, I could do this. And have this and this on this. Because I do like that it pulls it down. <sighs> decisions, decisions here. I reset this. Still not enough to master these, okay. But I do like Flames of Rebirth. It's not 6,000 points though, is it? That's the... Okay. We'll leave it as it is for the time being, I think. Um, we've got Mega Flare. Yeah, so I'll keep these three on. I do prefer this over this. But the... Being able to freeze is great. This needs to be bigger. But, yeah. So there we go. Alright, let's have a quick look at the maps here. So I've got a side quest that we can go to. That's done. Oh my god, Paul. Do you want to head back and do some um, potion stuff at the hideaway? So just want to replenish my supplies. But we're going to call this one an episode, ladies and gents. So please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Um, ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, look at stuff. It really does help me out. We'll check out all of this new stuff. I'll clear this. Um, yeah. And in the next one, we will go and make the stone here. Um, possibly because there are some side quests. There's only the one, though, I think. Um, we've got a hunt club as well. So, yeah, lots to come. There'll be some more Final Fantasy 16 coming away shortly. And I'll see you all in the next one.